Good morning, welcome to the premium public video discussion for Friday, September 29th, 2023. And boy, do we have a lot to talk about for this morning as we have a very impressive heavy rainfall event developing over central New Jersey up through the New York City Metro, the Hudson River Valley, Long Island, and Connecticut, where over three inches of rain is expected, possibly pushing as high as six inches of rain uh this is going to be a serious rainfall event but why is it happening well i'm going to show you exactly what's driving this whole pattern and this whole setup and then give you some good news after all this rainfall is gone so first of all we have our observations where we have winds coming in from the north northwest in portions of new jersey they're coming in from the northeast along the coast and we clearly have this convergence of low-level winds here as they come in from the north here so there's something out here a trough a stationary front something of that nature meanwhile you have very heavy rainfall around the new york city metro more scattered showers as you head down towards philadelphia variable cloud cover as you head into eastern pennsylvania overcast cloud cover should i say uh, not as much rainfall back here we do have some showers and, of course, heavy rainfall over Connecticut. Temperatures range from the mid to upper 50s over the northern interior, upper 50s to lower 60s around the New York City metro, lower to mid 60s in the Philadelphia metro. And when we take a look at our radar and surface map, one key note here, the radar here, uh, KDIX, is actually down. So we're not getting the full picture. This is why I make sure I always take a look at my observations first to get a full idea of what we are evolving here. But you get the idea. Very heavy rainfall is setting up in this area and it's continuous and it's training. Every time one piece lifts north, we start to see another area begin to develop and push into the coast and lift north as well. And that's producing some very impressive heavy rainfall over portions of the Hudson River Valley in Connecticut and New York City and Long Island and central New Jersey, northeast of New Jersey. It is waterlogged. Now, further to your south and west, it's pretty much just scattered showers. Not that big of a serious situation. But as you head down towards Connecticut and Long Island, it is pretty rough. So what's causing all this? Well, First, let's take a look at the upper level winds. Okay, now this is at 250 millibars. And what you're seeing here is a impressive polar trough interacting with the subtropical jet stream. You're seeing this spreading here in the winds. You see this right here? This is a sign of divergence and diffluence. And so when you see this setup starting to evolve here, you already have strong lifting. But then when you go to 850 millibars, winds are coming in from the Atlantic. So, okay upper levels southwest atlantic from the southeast so you have this vertical wind shear and you have this twisting in the atmosphere and you have this stretching in the atmosphere so with the combination of the stretching and pulling you create an environment where you have rapid ascent rapid lifting in the atmosphere as this is all evolving and you're driving tropical moisture right into basically right into new york city so you have this setup evolving here. So first of all, you take a look at your lifting. And this is a frontogenesis from the surface to the mid-levels of the atmosphere. And it's very focused along the coast here. So it's pretty strong. You start to see this trough starting to get itself organized. Then you take a look at the precipital water values and you start to notice this trough as well showing up here with a deep moisture. And again, remember, Cooler temperatures this time of year, so you're not able to hold as much water, but this is a lot of water for temperatures in the 50s and 60s. So this is pretty impressive. You know, this would be on par if we were in the middle of summer and your precipital water is around 2, 2.5. And so that's how impressive this is. And then you combine that with the moisture transport right into, again, the New York City metro and central New Jersey. So you have all of the factors transporting the moisture. You have lifting. And then you have the jet circulation, which is that divergence and diffluence I was telling you about. So that is causing spreading and splitting in the atmosphere. And then you basically quantify that stretching in the atmosphere, what you call deformation. And you could see that is showing up very nicely here along the coast. Uh, especially over Long Island with just waves of heavy rainfall. So you're lifting all this moisture 
and you're doing so rapidly and you're doing so while a new low pressure system is starting to develop out here. And so what's going to happen is that you're just going to get training of very heavy rainfall moving over the same location. And so that's essentially what we're seeing here in this event. And when you take a look at the visible satellite picture, the sun's rising, you see the ascent right here. This cumulus here is kind of like popcorn, right? It's just starting to blow up on you as that lifting continues to intensify. You can see that here, the moisture transport here. And you can see the southwesterly winds here with the upper level trough. You can see it even more nicely here on the water vapor satellite picture where you get that divergence and diffluence. And you're seeing everything kind of working its way out. In fact, let me zoom in on this. I got an idea. Let's see if I can pull this up. Do it right in the middle of the video. What the heck? And yeah, there we go. So in the water vapor zoomed in here, you can literally see here's our upper level low. Here's our subtropical jet stream. Here's all the lifting. And you can start to see in the mid levels, you can see that lifting really taking place in that inverted trough starting to expand south and really organize itself in the mid levels and working its way down towards the surface very impressive there's a very impressive signal saying hey looks like the going forecast looks like it's going to verify and be pretty nasty that is for sure let's go back to the zoomed out version here of the water vapor and i want to show you this whole pattern here you see this deep trough here this is actually good news for us so this deep trough is going to kick all this out it's going to take some time still throughout the day today but eventually tomorrow, this was all going to get kicked out in the Atlantic. And by tomorrow afternoon, most locations will be drying out. This deep trough also signifies in the polar jet stream, a broad ridge over the eastern United States for the next couple of days. So this trough is good news if you're looking for drier weather, as we will start to see that, especially tomorrow night and moving on through the upcoming week. So that's certainly some good news but we are watching at the potential for a pretty impressive uh, trough dropping south into the eastern United States. And with that, possibly some strong cold air transport. Take a look at that. Starting to evolve here towards uh, the first, after the first week of, of October here, we could get a pretty strong cold front and some again some very fall like weather and an impressive polar air mass building over canada so definitely watch that so i wanted to share a little bit of good news uh with all this heavy rainfall going on so here is the next 48 hours You're using the hrr you can use the nam you can use the european they're all pretty much now in lockstep and you can see throughout the day today is that continuous theme of waves of moderate to heavy to torrential downpours over central New Jersey, the New York City metro, including northeastern New Jersey, Hudson River Valley, Long Island, and Connecticut. And you might get a few breaks in between with some drizzle, but the overall theme is just wave after wave. And that's continuing on through this evening and then starts to break up and shift tonight towards more towards Long Island and Connecticut and then you start to see that pivot that's because we get our surface low pressure system finally established and by tomorrow morning we get one more wave of showery like rainfall not the intense rainfall we're seeing today and then by the time we get to the afternoon all that starts to clear out from northwest to southeast and by the evening hours we dry out so this is the general expectation with our heavy rainfall, this was put out yesterday afternoon and still holds true. Your primary impact areas are in three, four, and five. That's where we're focused the most. Where, you know, especially in zone five, you could be looking over three and a half, possibly five and a half inches of rain. There are some mild guys that go as high as six, seven, eight inches of rain, uh, which seemed a little bit aggressive to me. So, but I just put the plus because we are dealing with some pre-tropical moisture but we'll see whether or not that verifies but you get the idea here of where the most significant impacts will be so let's dive into this forecast for today waves of rainfall just a raw ugly day out there watch out for flash flooding urban flooding poor visibility and there is that threat for power outages as well look for high temperatures throughout the region in the lower to mid 60s for tonight into tomorrow morning, the rain continues slowly shifting off to the east. Look for low temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 50s over the northern interior, upper 50s to lower 60s along the coast. 
Tomorrow, the rain departs from, south, from northwest to southeast with high temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 60s along the coast, mid to upper 60s over the interior, and upper 60s to lower 70s in the Delaware River Valley. Then from Sunday all the way on through Thursday, high pressure will be in control with tranquil weather conditions. Now on Thursday evening into Friday, we'll get more of a southeasterly wind, so it could be an isolated shower, and then we'll have a cold front that will be moving through on Friday with scattered showers expected, so we'll keep an eye on that and how all that evolves. Temperatures starting basically Sunday all the way on through Thursday will range from the upper 40s to lower 50s over the northern interior and mid to upper 50s in your suburbs, upper 50s to lower 60s in your urban areas. High temperatures will range from the mid to upper 70s over the northern interior, mid to upper 70s along the coast, and upper 70s to lower 80s in the Delaware River Valley. And on Friday, look for low temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s and high temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 70s over the interior and along the coast and mid to upper 70s in the Delaware River Valley. That is your forecast discussion for today. Have a wonderful day and as always, stay safe out there.